I gotta address something that's been weighing heavily on me ever since I've seen it. So in recent years, there's a lot of mass realizations happening for people that understandably for some are being disregarded. But what I need people to understand is that there's a difference between someone acting like someone they're not and someone realizing who they are late in life. And we are at a moment where because of technological advancements, for better and for worse, people are realizing things about themselves they've never known before in their lives. There are also people exploiting it. <laughs> and people are noticing that. That isn't right. Obviously, that's not what I'm talking about. But what we need to realize is that there are people who are realizing because the system has failed us all to the most egregious extents imaginable, that are late in life finally able to embrace their queerness, late in life realizing they're autistic, and maybe some of us, but probably very far and few between comparison to the first two by any means, are realizing that we have ancestors who have had to hide who they are because of how much we're internationally hated. I don't think there's probably many other people I've ever met that it happened to be all three, but I could be entirely wrong. My point is, is that there's this narrative going around as if people are just like trying to accrue all of these like oppression badges as if it's like something that they're doing to distance themselves from some sort of system of oppression. And again, some people might be doing that. I have no idea. That's not my life. But the fact of the matter is, is that because we're in a context where people are realizing how much the criteria for many, especially neurodivergences, have failed us, especially those of us that are black or brown or assigned female at birth, there are matter-of-factly millions if not billions of autists that didn't know they were autistic their whole lives and have suffered for that. Similarly, because of just how rampant cis-heterosexism is, there is a fuck ton of people that have not able to been openly queer in their lives. There's a lot of people just finally learning that the gender and biological sex binaries are made up and they're a colonial project. So they're embracing forms of queerness, whether that's gender or attraction or getting some sort of assignment surgery that makes them feel less dysphoric, et cetera, et cetera. Those things are completely valid. And for someone to go around fell swooping all of that as if that isn't the case is really, really harmful. And you're reinforcing dominant norms that harm all of us. And then lastly, of course, I'm sure, and I, there's a great creator on here who I respect enormously. They've given me a lot of knowledge that I've unfortunately lost because of the way that my ancestors assimilate into whiteness. They, I saw a video they made the other day, um, and really it wasn't the other day, I saw it the other day about how there might be some Americans who have more oppressive ethnicities that did assimilate into whiteness as well. And then there are, and so they're going around acting like they're Roma when they're not Roma. And I need people to understand that for someone like me, whose ancestors came here in the early 1900s to escape Czechoslovakia that's harmful for me to see and I know that um, that's not what they're trying to do but I am obviously I don't look Roma I'm not I, I would never claim to have a Roma lived experience but I'm I'm Roma nonetheless I'm Hungarian Slovak my family called us gypsies like let me show you a picture of my mom this was my mom she didn't have dark skin but she lived her whole life assimilating into whiteness and being made to feel terrible about herself because of the way that her nose looks because of anti-Roma and racist ideas. This is absolutely a complex history and I would never belittle ancestors' assimilation to whiteness. I can't know why my ancestors thought they needed to come here besides seeing the context of us being hated internationally and them coming here in the early 1900s. I have basically nothing because I've lost everything. 
So I'm scrambling to try to regain any knowledge of my culture now. And it's really important to me <laughs> that people realize the unique position that I'm in as someone who is relearning all of these things and being able to finally learn about who I am. Despite the fact that my ancestors assimilated into whiteness and I absolutely, obviously benefit from whiteness, I would never claim otherwise. It's still, it, it speaks to a lot of lost Roma people that exist today. And we need to recognize the multiplicity of the diaspora that truly exists. Otherwise it's just harmful.